Well, welcome back everyone to another episode of On One Outdoors. We're getting really excited about this upcoming whitetail deer season. The team has collectively been working really hard to try to make this uh, as successful season as possible. And we've been trading back and forth trail cam pictures of some of the potential bucks that these guys have walking in front of their sets. But what we're going to do this week is focus on Casey Robinson as we join him out in Nebraska on a great antelope hunt that he put together last season. Uh, here in less than a week he's going to be out uh, chasing goats once again and I'm sure he's going to be successful. He always is. And um, we want to thank you guys for all the positive feedback and uh, all the new ideas that you've been giving us. It's really helped us take a step in the right direction and we're going to continue to need that in order to get to where we want to be. We're going to start putting out a lot more episodes now that the new website is up and just uh, continue giving us that feedback. We really appreciate it. So let's join Casey Robinson out in Nebraska as he puts a nice Nebraska goat on the ground. Hey everybody, uh, we're in Shatter, Nebraska. Uh, it's three days into the antelope archery season and uh, we got a good goat spotted. It's been real tough this year. We got a really bad drought condition. Uh, there's hardly any grass anywhere so these goats are all spread out. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can bring you some antelope action. Let's get on one. Yeah. I love shattering. We found a buck that's kind of by himself, so we're gonna try to sneak around the edge of this, the top edge of this, and uh, you know, he should be like right down below us. It should be a fairly easy shot. We just gotta get up on him, and hopefully, we can get on one. So, stay tuned, guys. Alright, so uh, we're gonna try to get up here to this bush right here at the point. The buck should be around the corner just there, so we're gonna try to work up here and uh, just get there, see where he's at. So we're making a move. It turns out he's at 100 yards, so we're gonna have to get around the corner and get a little closer. Let's go. After that long, dramatic spot and stock episode, this is how it ends. People will say that goats can't smell it. That was a perfect example. We had the flawless stock. We barefoot right now, no sound, and we came up behind this little ledge perfectly. And there's no way he could have saw us. He was high alert. He could smell us. That's all it comes down to. And 55 yards is what we got for our first stock for the day, and that's pretty impressive for for us. I mean, for anybody, I guess. It's just getting to 50 yards on a goat. It's it's awesome. And, it's so sad we didn't close the deal. It's all about that last percent. I mean, you can get 99% of the way there. It's just that last percent, and we are almost there.
Oh, he's hit. He hit him, dude. He's gonna go down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. He's bleeding bad. It exited out of his butt. Yes. Oh, man. He's bleeding bad, dude. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's over, man. He's draining. It's over, man. It's over. He ain't gonna go far. Yeah, he'll go down. Yeah, he heard it. A nervous. He'll be all right, dude, he's bleeding horrible. We really don't have any other goats to go after right now, so I'm gonna pick up the blood trail here on mine. He went a long ways. The shot was not as good as I thought it was, but you know, you can't help. Sometimes they jump the string and that's just what happens, but there's good blood. I'm following a great blood trail right here. So he had to have ran out of gas eventually. So uh, we'll pick up this trail and, and see what we can find. The goat finally expired. Finally just yeah, gave up. Finally, finally, finally. Let's go see what he looks like. Everybody, here he is. <laughs> this is probably the hardest goat I've ever had to work for. Last night, we did a great job stalking into this goat. Uh, a little bit of wind, I might have been shaking a little bit, might have pulled the shot a little bit. 80 yards on the dot, I practice this range all the time. Very capable of making that shot, but for whatever reason, he heard the shot, wheeled and it caught in the back end here. Uh, a lot of blood poured out. Uh, we did the best thing we could, backed out, let him have time overnight. Went back today, uh, where he bedded the night before, wasn't there, so he got up and moved. Well, I went just a little bit over this bowl and he got up. So he was still kicking yet. And I kept with him. We probably ran close to half a mile. And I just, you know, kept going. He was really losing power. And, you know, we always try to strive for a quick, humane kill. And, you know, sometimes things happen. But the best thing you can do is follow up on your shot. Make sure you do the respect for the animal and make sure you take him out. Uh, and that's what we did. I finally got a shot. He finally laid down and gave me a shot. and. He was done within seconds, so first weekend, 2012, and uh, here's a beautiful pronghorn antelope here in Shatter, Nebraska. And thank you, God, for giving me a chance to hunt these beautiful animals. Now, uh, we gotta get Justin the goat, and in another two weeks, we're gonna be hunting deer, so stay with us. We got on one.